it's Miss Elizabeth from the Tacoma Public Library, and I'm super excited for story time today. We are talking about the jungle, so that should be super exciting. But before we start talking about the jungle, let's go ahead and sing our hello song. So if you can get your hand out, tuck your thumb on in, and give a salute, and then we're going to get our friends out and give them a little hug like this, and we're going to sing our song twice. So it goes like this. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Let's sing it again. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. So let's get out our roly polies. Let's get out our roly polies. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, 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 down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Out, 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 rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, in, 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 rolly, poly, rolly, poly, fast, 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 rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Good job, everyone. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sing our first, or read our first story. And our first story is It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle and illustrated by Jeremy Tanker. It's a Tiger. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a tiger, run! Push aside these vines and we'll hide inside this cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for the bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. What do you think it could be? In fact, one of those shadows looks like a, what do you think? A tiger! How did he get here? Hurry, let's climb the ladder and we'll make our escape. Ah, sunshine. Doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh. Snakes. Hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, we can tiptoe past them. Blue snakes. Green snakes, even a great fuzzy snake that looks like a, a tiger! Run! Yikes! He's gaining on us! Our only chance is to leap for that rope and swing across this canyon. Now let's go! Whoop! We made it. Good thing we landed someplace soft. A flower bed? A pile of leaves? A giant orange and black pillow? No, we landed on top of a... A tiger! Oh, now we're really in trouble. Quick, climb. 
climb this rock and slide down the hill. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Yes! What did we find? A boat! Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain! Safe at last. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before. Have you? You don't think it could be. Could it be? A tiger! Oh, not again! Oh, jump overboard or we'll end up as his lunch. Let's swim, 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 swim. Splash, 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 splash. Oh, I don't know if you're tired, but don't slow down. Oh, we're in luck. There's an island. Oh, and a chest. Open the lid. What do you think we'll find? Do you think we'll find treasure? Oh no, it's a tiger! And he wants to eat us! Roar! Oh, wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. Woo! If we scratch his ears and rub his belly, maybe I'll go to sleep. Better yet, let's tell him a story. We'll start in a jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. It's a, a crocodile. Oh, no. And that's our story. It's a tiger. I hope you enjoyed that story. Let's go ahead and let's sing a song. And it goes to the tune of London Bridges, and it's called I Went to the Jungle. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I went to the jungle one day, and I saw a lion. And this is what he said. He said, roar. Let's see what other animals we can find in the jungle. Let's sing it again. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I went to the jungle one day and I saw a monkey. And what do you think our monkey said? He said, coo, 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 coo. I think so too. All right, let's see what other animals we could find in the jungle. Let's sing it again. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I went to the jungle one day and I saw an elephant. Let's get out our long elephant trunk. And what do you think they said they went? Get it out again. Get your jungle, your elephant. Good job. Let's sing it again. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I went to the jungle one day and I saw a crocodile. And what do you think our crocodile did? He went snap, snap, snap. Good job. All right, let's sing it one more time. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I went to the jungle one day and I saw a snake. 
what do you think the snake said? He went, Good job. What a nice little jungle scene that we created. All right. We're going to say, we're going to read another story. And our next story is Giraffes Can't Dance. Why do you think giraffes can't dance? This story is written by Giles Andre, okay? Andre, and Guy Parker Reese. This is Giraffes Can't Dance. Let's find out. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He does have a really long neck, doesn't he? He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Did he just fall? Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. At this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely and he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for us. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung, swung them from everywhere. And he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, 
Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd never been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quiet and tranced. They shout, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that's our story, Giraffes Can't. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sing a song or in a movement about a giraffe. So if you can help me out. So, I'm a big tall giraffe stretching way up high. A big tall giraffe. I almost reach the sky. Can you stand up way up tall and stand on your tiptoes? I eat the leaves from the tallest trees. Let's munch on some leaves. I'm a big, tall giraffe, stretching way up high. Way up high. Stand up on your tippy toes. Way up high. Let's do that one again. All right. I'm a big, tall giraffe. Stretching way up high. A big tall giraffe. I almost reach the sky. Stand up on your tippy toes. I eat the leaves from the tallest trees. Eat your leaves. And when I run, I move with ease. Let's pretend to run. I'm a big tall giraffe. Stretching way up high. Up on your tippy toes, way up high. Good job. All right, let's do another song. And we're going to do our five little monkeys. And can you get your crocodile out? Ready? We're going to go snap, snap, snap. So let's show me your five little monkeys. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. Jump, jump, jump. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile. As quiet as can be. What does he do? He snaps that monkey right out of the tree. So how many monkeys did we start with? We had five. And he snapped one. He snapped one. So how many do we have left? We have four. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. So we have three little monkeys, three little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Well, along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. So we have two little monkeys. Two little monkeys, tea swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Snap. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And he snaps that monkey right out of the tree. So we've got one little monkey swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile. 
You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be. And snaps that monkey right out of the tree. No more monkey swinging in a tree. Good job. All right, we are going to sing another song. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to do If You're Happy and You Know It. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Good job, everyone. Well, we're going to go ahead and we are going to sing our goodbye song. So can you wave like this? And we're going to have our friends back out and give them a hug. All right, so our song, we're going to sing it twice. It goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me for story time today. And make sure to check us out. Uh, more videos on our YouTube channel. As well as Friday story times at 1 p.m. on Facebook. And our Zoom story times on Wednesdays at 10.30. Hope to see you there. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.